Friday night around 11 p.m. I am in Hanoi, Vietnam, and I'm curious to see what nightlife is open back up again. So come along with me. We're gonna check out a few venues and see what is open 2022. All right, so that was pretty interesting. The place was called CI Mixology, and I went there because I was told it had very good cocktails, and it did. But it was one of these places you see a lot in Asia. The setup of the bar, it's like a bar or a lounge, but then the music is like super crazy loud club music. That place is definitely marketing to like a very wealthy crowd, and it's very lovely in there. But you have a bunch of nouveau riche young people trying to look rich and not really looking like they're having a lot of fun. So not really my vibe. I had a Manhattan, which was delicious. If you want to just like go and splash a bunch of money and have some good cocktails, maybe check it out. But I think we can do better. I'm back out here on the street. They've shut down all of the streets around the lake. There's this all sorts of stuff going on. There's like little tiny kids out here at 11.30 at night. Huge circles of people playing hacky sack. That's interesting. Let's go take a look. I have never seen this much hacky sack in my entire life. They make it like a national sport here, I guess. So I'm walking up the east side of the lake to check out another place. And there's just all these folks out here having fun. These guys are dancing. Okay, so now I've stumbled into the rollerblade zone, apparently. Uh, they have hoverboards, too. I don't see anybody charging money, so this just seems like a communal rollerblade situation going on here. That's pretty awesome. Wow, okay, I don't know if you can hear it yet, but up ahead we have some sort of communal rave or singing uh, outdoor dancing concert thing going on. Let's see what that's all about. So those guys just have some acoustic guitars and uh, they're putting on a little concert. That's pretty awesome. By the way, if any of you are wondering about the masking situation in Vietnam right now, after dark, it's looking like maybe 50-50. Um, in the daytime, almost everyone's wearing masks still. So um, keep that in mind if uh, you're sensitive to that when traveling here. Okay, so I'm out of the walking street area now, and as I get farther away from the lake, it's gonna get a little more quiet. I heard about one place called Lavish that also supposedly has good cocktails. With a name like that, though, I'm a little afraid it's gonna be like the last spot. It's just across the street, so may as well check it out. It's not even midnight yet. There's already quite a few folks stumbling around, falling over drunk. <laughs> not uncommon to see in Asia. Okay, so this address behind me 
is where Labish, the cocktail bar, is supposed to be. Sure doesn't look like it, but in Hanoi, there's a lot of hidden spots and there is an open walkway. So let's see what's back there. Yeah, I don't hear anything or see any signs or any people, so I'm gonna write this one off as a L. Let's try something else. Let's head over to Beer Street, which is sort of one of the main areas here, and see who's over there. getting really close to Beer Street now, which is one of the main going out areas. But I think they tend to close on the earlier side and it's almost midnight. I don't know if this is a COVID thing or always, but bars are supposed to close at midnight here. Many don't, many do. So we're gonna see if Beer Street keeps going after midnight. This area is super touristy and a bit shady. So if you're a man by himself coming here close to midnight, definitely expect multiple people to offer you things you're not supposed to be offered. Just be warned. Alright, so as you can see, plenty of people out on Beer Street, even just before midnight. None of these folks are going anywhere anytime soon, so uh, not exactly a club or a high-end vibe, but really, really fun. Although I hear some loud music coming from this direction, so let's go have a look. So it's definitely packed here and uh, mask wearing drops to about 0%. So uh, definitely a pretty interesting place to check out if you're looking for parties. That's 1900 Club, which is one of the more popular clubs here. Looks pretty packed, but I'm looking for somewhere else a friend of mine owns. Okay, so this is the place my friend owns. His name is Maurice. He's American. It's called Babylon 2. Let's go check it out. Alright, cool. Hey, hey. My friend Ben. Hi. Alright. So this is Maurice. Babylon 2, family business. A cool bar, very packed with people. This whole area is definitely hopping right now. So if you don't know where to go, this area is a great place to start. And this is a good bar to start at. E40, really? It's like a, whatever, like a whiskey on a rock. Cheers, Chief. Mozzarella sticks, baby. Mm. No thanks. All right, so that is a really cool bar, but it's a little more intimate, right? Next, I wanted to pop into 1900, which is a lot bigger, more club-like, see what that's looking like.
playing Gangnam Style, so I had to check it out. Yeah, there too. What's your name? Thank you. All right, that place is called Local, and I popped in there because they're playing Gangnam Style, which is the coolest song ever. Very small place, but super good vibes. Like everybody in there was really happy to be in there. All in all, Beer Street is pretty wild, and uh, they got a little bit of everything. They got the 1900 Super Club, these smaller places. No matter what you're looking for, you can probably find what you need here. I first came to Hanoi 15 years ago, and I remember going to a really sick club down by the river. I don't know what the name was, but I think I would remember it if I saw it again. So I'm heading over to one place called The Lighthouse. It's one of the oldest clubs in Hanoi. It's by the river. I think it may be the one that I remember. But like a complete idiot, I'm gonna walk there at one o'clock in the morning. Because why not? This is the walkway going over the main north-south road in Hanoi. Used to be a dam. So it's elevated. In most countries, I would be afraid right now. But not in Vietnam. Okay, so I'm probably lost now, but we're almost there. We'll see if Google's right. You close already? Too early? 1 a.m. people also don't want to come here. 1 a.m. come here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is ridiculous. I mean, just look at how dark this freaking alley is. This place is out in the middle of nowhere. They have an Instagram and a Facebook that haven't been updated in over a year. Everyone I talked to said that the lighthouse is popping after 10 p.m. <laughs> this whole neighborhood looks like it's about to be torn down. <laughs> so anyways, I finally find the place and it's about 1245 right now. There's literally nobody there, like not a single soul. Except for the people behind the bar is like, yeah, come back after 1 a.m. So I guess maybe the lighthouse is uh, the, the after hours spot now. I don't know. Maybe we'll come back there in a bit. For now, let's go check out Westlake. I have to talk a little more quiet now because in this neighborhood, it's a lot more underground. Like everything is underground here. Let's go check out this club, which is hidden in a basement. All right, so I just came out of that club. They have cheap drinks and helium. Not a ton of people. It's definitely a very local spot. Probably not the right place for you. Let's do a quick recap here. We've checked out Fancy Cocktail Place, a couple places that don't exist, Westlake and Beer Street. And honestly, after doing all of it, I feel like Beer Street is 
the only way to go. If you don't know this city, you don't know where to go, just come here. There's dozens of places. One of them is going to work well for you. All right, it's a little before 2 a.m. I'm heading back to the hotel. There's still people drunk skating all around the lake, which is awesome. This is a great city. There's so much going on here. The weather is amazing. It's beautiful. They got the trees. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that this gave you some insight into what the nightlife is looking like right now. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Also, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Which of these bars or clubs would you go to and why? Thanks so much. I'll see you on the next one.